right guys, I'm Craig. I'm the manager of Dugout here at Dugout Bait and Tackle. And I, we're gonna try to do some things a little bit different uh, as the uh, months progress and it gets warmer. Maybe we'll do a few more, but we're gonna try to do the fishing report online and let you guys actually see what we're talking about when we write every week. Uh, sometimes it sounds like a broken record because it's it's an Alatoona fishing report. There's days that it's it tends to not change, but there's days that a lot of little things happen. Uh, just little days of warm weather and whatnot can get those fish turned on and we can catch them. Uh, but the water temperature right now is, is pretty much still in the 40s. Some guys are reporting that there's uh, water temperatures reaching somewhere near 50 the farther you get up the lake. But as you go out to, this week, you may want to concentrate on uh, trying to find some of the warmer water and throw your smaller little crankbaits such as a little shad wrap or a little Norman deep tiny in or a bandit that we've been throwing this week is a bandit and copper crawfish. Any of these crawdad colors are uh, magical colors when it comes to fishing in, in February or as we're going into February. Um, the little crawdad bandit fishing it on clay flats, clay banks, points uh, on your main lake or even up the lake into going into the rivers can be a place to, to catch some really good quality fish on this crankbait, particularly the bigger spots. Uh, the lake right now is still constantly changing with all the little fronts we keep have, come, having come in and one day it's extremely cold, the other day it's fairly uh, get a mild day or two and the mild days when you get a day or two is when they get on the crankbait a little better and when we write about it we always say to throw, I always say to throw small crankbaits this time of year. Any of your shad colors, something like a brim color, like the little deep tiny in the little chartreuse purple back, they call that a brim color. And really look at throwing your crawdad colors and, and your red colors as the month of February progresses. Uh, another good way to catch fish right now is to fish the steep rock banks on the main lake. And by that, I mean any of your 45 degree banks or any banks that just uh, have a, a good large amount of rock or some good points and stuff. And you can take a small little jig. What I've got here is just a little pocket jig, a baby pocket jig. Uh, it's just a little finesse type jig tipped with a net bait pocket chunk black and blue, uh, crawfish colors, or, or any of your brown colors tend to work well. But throw this bait up against the bank, stay about uh, a good boat length away, pitch it or cast it up to the bank, drag it very slowly back to the boat, and watch your line because a lot of times you'll get these, get, these fish will just barely tip, nip at it and you'll barely feel a bite. Tend to throw this bait on 8 to 10 to 12 pound line, nothing real heavy. This is a great way to catch some fish too, and particularly you can catch some decent fish on this. But the big thing is just to make sure that you fish the bait very, very slowly and drag it slowly across the bottom. Uh, the next best bet a lot of guys are starting to catch a few fish with is they're getting out and they're throwing the floating fly. And the floating fly is definitely probably one of my number one favorite tools. I've talked about it for, for years now with guys. But any of your colors in the, the brighter perch type colors or the dark blues with that little bit of stained water we've got are producing well. Typically you want to run your bobber up to about 10-11 foot on Altoona right now. Fish the steep rock banks with it on the main lake, particularly down by the dam where the clearer water is, is where you're probably going to produce a little bit better. The other fly that, uh, that you want to try is in, and make sure you slick it down with dope real well is the, the uh, citrus shad or tropical shad, uh, rainbow shad colored red rooster which works very very well it stands out in off colored water but works very well in clear water um, these are just a couple little things make sure when you're fishing your fly this week though is you, you let it sit for long periods of time a lot of times when you get a, a fairly good shad kill and stuff the longer you can let that fly sit the fish will come to find it make sure you put plenty of dope on it fish dope attractant uh, give it a little bit of smell give it a little bit of extra to, to make them make them tend to want to bite it uh, my next thing I was going to tell you all about is to throw a drop shot. And right now, if you get in the mouths of the creeks or off some of the points, you could take a small drop shot. Anything that's shad looking will work just fine. These fish are feeding on a lot of these dying shad, and anything that's gray, shad colored, or, or even uh, even something solid white or something that work, will work well. This is just a little range bait that's uh, become pretty popular in the drop shot world nowadays. It's just a little Japanese bait that is ultra finesse, got a nice little profile, kind of looks like a shad, but it uh, tends to produce well. Uh, if you get out there this week, though, just be careful because uh, with the rain that we've had here and there, 
There can be a few logs floating around. Don't be discouraged by the stained water. Just, just have a good time. Get out there. Pick, pick your days. If you get a nice day, you get a couple days, you get a warming trend, get out there and throw that crankbait. I think you guys will catch some fish, and uh, particularly uh, if, you, if all else fails, break out the fly because it'll always work. Uh, wish y'all luck this week. Get fishing and be safe.